Good evening, Diary. Um, it's uh, Saturday evening, and it's uh, a few hours only before the start of the New York Marathon. Now, um, I'd like to point out that, as you can hear from my current voice, I'm neither sick nor flu-ridden, which was the case about one year ago when I attempted it the first time round. So, uh, all in all, things are looking up. Um, just to point out what we've been doing today, um, we've had a very sensible day, including a, a late rise in the morning for uh, purposes of sleeping. And uh, shops don't open here on Saturday morning until about 10am, which was a bit surprising. Anyway, um, having known this fact, we uh, waited until about 10 to spot over to the um, A6 store. Now, yesterday we went there to get some shoes for me, and um, there's a special edition of the... Um, Gel Cano for the New York uh, Marathon, and uh, they were sold out, which was a, a shame. Um, so I had to get the normal Cano 17s, and um, what would be a rather risky idea would be to consider running in them for the uh, New York Marathon, and to sort of combat the stupidity of the situation, I've decided that I would try and wear them all yesterday and all today, which is what I've done, to sort of try and wear them in and decide whether they are going to be fit for purpose or not. Now, these Kyanos are half a size smaller than I would normally buy, and I'm trying to get away with the half size smaller because that would make the shoe, you know, fit more snugly, and of course it would be lighter. But it's borderline being tight, especially on the right foot, so today was not just a question of sort of um, uh, loosening out the shoe, but it was also a question of figuring out if it's going to be painful while I'm running. So. Um, well, we did a lot of walking today and not much running, but it looks good to me, so I haven't quite decided, but it looks like I'll probably use them tomorrow. Uh, and in a similar vein, we spent the, I spent the whole day in my 2XU thermal uh, leggings, which I bought yesterday in the Javits Expo. And again, um, they always sort of say, don't change any clothes at the last minute, but to break that rule, these leggings are very comfortable. In fact, they're a bit too comfortable. I, I, I think I might have got slightly too large a size because they are super comfortable. And I think these compression trousers should be you know, a bit more, maybe a bit more compressing. But the small size that I tried in Javits were just really tight, so went for the medium size. Anyway, the, the, the net result is I spent all day in the shoes they might be running in and the trousers they might be running in, and, and they, well, both feel very comfortable. So, on to Agata, and um, she managed to pick up a pair of Nimbus 12 running shoes at the ASIC store, which is why we went there in the first place. And I think she's being more sensible than me, and she's not planning to, um, to run in them on the Sunday morning. Um, anyway, the rest of the day was dominated by sort of walking around town. We, we uh, had a meeting in the afternoon with the travel company who were going to take us to the start. And when we found out that the whole of the lecture was going to be in Swiss German, we sort of bottled out really and just sort of said hello and then goodbye. But we've got the time and the place to meet tomorrow, which is six o'clock at their hotel. Paid for, no doubt, by the uh, by the exorbitant charges that we've been levied for our our race. Uh, we're not staying in the Marriott, but they are. All the helpers are. Um, but then the rest of the day was dominated by the search for the buff. Now. The, the weather on Sunday is predicted to be dry, but quite windy. In fact, it's something like um, like 15 kilometres or 20 kilometres wind uh, per hour. So that's really windy. And I have seemed to have forgotten my buff, which is, you know, a buff is a sort of thing that goes around your neck. It's a, it's a, co a sort of slightly elasticated cotton sort of, and spandex, uh, very, very lightweight garment. It's less than 60 grams. And um, we thought, OK, well, no problem. We'll just go and buy another buff. But we've been to numerous sports shops. Um, and I just mentioned the word buff, and everyone looks either looks at you blankly or com brings you completely the wrong item. Anyway, so we spent all day looking for the buff. We went down to Paragon Sports, which is the biggest uh, sports store in Manhattan, and they didn't know what the buff was at all. So uh, no buff, and um, it means that if it gets windy tomorrow, well, I'll have to run more quickly or, or something like that. Um, and then, to, then the last thing we did today was we, we, we went over to the Apple store. Now, I have just bought, a rel relatively, relatively recently, this uh, lovely Nokia uh, netbook, which I bought because um, the, the, my laptop is, is, is not very good for travelling. And, and we don't travel very often, but when we do, it would be nice to have a very small, lightweight notebook. 
And no sooner had I bought that lovely Windows creation than Apple goes and announces the MacBook Air. Um, so we sort of went into the Mac store just to have a physical look at the MacBook Air, which we've not seen except in pictures, and it is delicious. Um, but there are several drawbacks with the product. Ne firstly, the price, which is huge. Secondly, it's using a very old processor. And thirdly, I'd class it as a disadvantage that it's running Mac OS, and, and no doubt when you put Windows on it or you run Parallels or whatever, there's going to be loads and loads of issues and problems. There's no, there's no Ethernet socket. Anyway, there's no, that, that's not to say we won't get one. That's kind of the, the classic is you make all the list of the objections and then you go and buy it. So uh, it's, the purchase is on hold. Um, it's, uh, it's an expensive $2,000 and do we really need it is the question. Well, we probably don't need it, but could we justify it in some way is the question. So anyway, Saturday evening we visited a deli to get some food. We've eaten that f lovely chicken food um, because I read a, a Traffler magazine telling me that I should eat lots of chicken protein type stuff, so I have done. So all is prepared. We're all very ready. And um, we look forward to getting up at sort of four something tomorrow morning uh, to, to get changed, to get the uh, bus to the start. Uh, I start about 10 o'clock and I go to about 10.40. So next report. After that.